So the last thing I wanted to show you is just really a summary of the different things that we've looked at to do with the sketches so far. So we already talked about uh, r equals a is a circle, theta equals alpha is a half line. And I said you can prove these by converting from a polar equation to a Cartesian equation. If you have a circle, 2a cos theta is a circle of radius um, a, center a0. Again, we didn't look at this one, but this is stuff you'll be able to investigate by plotting it on calculators and things like that. Yes, yep. And then we've got r equals k theta. We saw this spiral one that we had before. So I've kind of printed these for you just so you've got them as a bit of a reference. We've then got these ones that we've already spoken about. This one was the cardioid, which we've looked at in some detail here. This one was the dimple, because we'd already talked about this one, that P is in between Q and 2Q. And then this one's a weird one. This one is 1 minus cos theta. And it's the same as this one, but flipped. And it says, think about it. When theta is equal to 0, you have 1 minus cos theta, which is 0. So you start at the origin. Previously, we didn't start at the origin. We started over here at 2A. If you imagine that theta was 0, you're going to be doing 1 minus 1, so you start at 0. And then when theta is pi, r gets to its maximum, because you're doing 1 minus minus 1, which is why when you go to pi, you've gone as far as possible. So it's the same as this one, but it's been reflected in the other direction. Okay. Then the other things I wanted to mention for the summary is the petals. So we've got this example, r equals a of cos 2 theta. But because Corpure 2 requires that r is greater than or equal to 0, we actually won't have the top and bottom petals for this one. And you'd be able to show that by thinking of what values of theta make cosine negative. I've then got an example of an r squared one, r squared equals a squared cos 2 theta. And I've said because the left-hand side is squared, it's therefore positive. We spoke about that as well. So it forces the right-hand side to be positive. So regardless of whether we restrict r greater than 0, those other two petals won't be there. So you can compare this one to this one. Same graph, looks really like the same graph. I think that should have had a squared with it. Should it have had a squared with it? Yeah, it should. Because it's the whole thing squared. But because the whole thing has been squared, we've removed the negative petals. But you can't draw those on Desmos, and you can't draw those on your graphics calculators. Um, and then we've just got a couple of examples here. We saw some of these things before, that the straight line graphs from your homework resulted in sec. And there's another one of it being sec here as well, and stuff like that just comes up with so the, the Cartesians. Like yeah. You should, but you won't be able to do much maths with it when it's all squared like that. Um, and again, you can just see like a proof of why this one works. We said that x is r cos theta, so r is equal to x sec theta. And then we've got x sec theta equals a sec theta, a, a, a sec theta, so x equals a. It's kind of confusing to think about what's going on here, but when you did the exercise 5a stuff, you saw the, the stuff that was going on between them. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at exercise 5b, question 1 and 2, and I really want to use this as an opportunity to explore using your graphics calculators and thinking about if there are any sections of it which should be removed or should not be removed. Okay.